Before I go into oils, I've just decided to put a little bit more brightness into some of the greens on the right, only because with the acrylics I can build up a little bit more texture which will dry very quickly. Um, you can of course carry on with acrylics throughout to complete the whole painting. Uh, my theory of using the oils is just to show how occasionally I think some acrylic artists say they can't quite match colours perfectly and of course with oils it is easier to match colours as I will hope to hopefully demonstrate. But just to build up these brighter colours I'm picking out the uh, sunlit areas with a second shade. So we've got the real yellowy greens and now some brighter greens going in. Just using a small flat brush just to bring that colour through amongst the, where the bluebells are growing on the left as well. Now hopefully we are almost ready. Again just a few middle greens in right here. I'm still keeping this paint very dry. No water. Just picking up blocks of colour and of course where the paint's already started to dry you've got a texture that you can build on. You can just, as you, as you drag the paint across the top of the rougher surface that's already dried, you can create multiple layering effects to suggest depth in the foliage. And similarly just to the left here, a lot of brighter colours. Just another shade. I've got some very yellowy greens here. I've just mixed a tiny bit more white into the mix this time so it produces a second shade to give it a little bit more contrast. I think that gets us ready for the final stage. <laughs> 